Good morning, no budget audience, or afternoon, depending on where you are. Have you ever had that scenario where you've been uh, shooting something, you've got one camera, but maybe you've got multiple sound recordings, and you want to sync the multiple sound with your single camera? And that is what we are going to do here today. So on the screen here, we've got my lovely image, and we've got the on-camera sound, which is going to pick me up, so you can hear that. So very room echoey uh, because it's picking up on the camera. We definitely don't want that. If you noticed on me, I have a lapel mic. And then we also have a boom mic in the room with us. This is for a tutorial that will be going up on the site here later on, which is why we have the boom. But for my intro, I want to use the sound off the lapel mic. Okay, so I've got my files mixed up into different folders here. So this is my audio fo folder that has both the boom mic and the lapel mic on it. And these are my multiple camera folders. I only care about syncing with one of the cameras. So this particular file is 8772. So I know that. And I also know that the audio for this sequence is 055. Two. So it's this one and this one. And if you notice, the uh, sound guy made sure to label these S1 and S2. This is how I know one is the lapel mic and the other one is the boom mic. So I've got my audio files and my video file all selected, all three of them. You right click on it, you select merge clips. This is going to merge all of those onto one file. You can rename it if you want. I'm going to leave mine the default. That's just what I'm using for my naming conventions, but I might go scene one, take two, or something like that. You can choose your in and out points uh, if you want to set like a to point on the time code. I'm going to leave it to the default, which is audio, and that's basically saying off of track one, which is the camera sound, that's going to be my sync point. And as mentioned, you can use the audio time code from the audio files instead of the time code from the camera. Uh, I've never really found a need to change this. I'm sure some experts can leave a comment on why. You can also remove the audio from your AV clip. This is going to remove that audio file from the camera, like if you don't need it because you know, we're not going to use it because it's an echoey. I leave mine on by default just to have it in case I need it. Hit OK. It's going to process, and now I've got my merged file, which is going to be all three of those together. I'm going to take that and drop it down into my timeline. If you notice, what I've got now is multiple things. The blue is going to be my audio from the camera, and the two green ones are going to be my audio from the boom mic and the lapel mic. I'm going to zoom in here, and what you can see is this, which is a clap. That's usually what it tries to go off. Premiere Pro with the latest version, which I have is uh, CC2017, it's gotten much better at picking up on sync points than in previous versions. So if you do accidentally forget to get a clap sound or some type of a noise for it to sync on, it might actually sync on its own. If it doesn't, what you need to do is right click on the whole thing, unlink them and then you'll basically need to drag around the, the on the timeline in order to get them to sync. Now they're out of sync. So I'm going to undo what I just did because I know that they're all synced and you can see right here. There's a nice clap with my hands and it matches those uh, points on the audio file. Now we've got all of the files on one timeline and I'm going to show you exactly how it sounds. So with both of them lit, it's playing right now. Notice that that's unmuted and that's unmuted. What it's doing is it's playing the audio from the boom and the lapel at the same time. Since they're in sync, you don't really notice it. So what I'm going to do is mute one of them. We have a shot with him going down on his knee. We had a pad on the knee with Philip. So you can hear that. It sounds very close. So that's going to be my lapel mic that you can see right underneath the, on the collar of my shirt there. I'm going to swap. And now play the other one. We have a shot with him going down on his knee. We had a pad on the knee. You can see here a little bit of echo, so we know that's the boom mic in the room that's picking up on me, versus the camera, which is going to have a lot of echo. We have a shot. 
I'm not even going to play all that. You get it right away how it, how it is. And that is how you sync multiple audio tracks with one video file. I'll do a tutorial later on multiple videos uh, it's that you can switch back and forth as well. But this is kind of the starting point that then we'll work on to those later points.